Hi, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we're going to be measuring the lengths of insect bodies. We are in our math journals, pages 264, 265, and we'll be on pages 266. I'm going to pause here on page 266 for just a moment to show the instructions. The insects on pages 264 and 265 were collected for a science project. Measure each insect to the nearest eighth of an inch using the guidelines. Okay, so I'm going to need a pencil and a ruler to solve these problems. So we're going to take a look at the first couple, the short-tailed dusk darter dragonfly and the boreal firefly. So the short-tailed dusk darter dragonfly and the boreal firefly. So each of these illustrations has some guidelines, as you can see, to help you uh, square up your measurements. And I'm going to use a ruler. Now, a ruler usually has two sides. It's got an inches side and a centimeter side. We're going to be using the inches side. And as it, you can tell, each inch is broken up into smaller parts. These little hash marks give us fractional pieces of an inch. So we're going to be measuring to the nearest eighth of an inch. So when I take a look at the first insect, the short-tailed dusk's darter dragonfly, I'm going to line up not the edge of my ruler, but where the line that starts the first inch is. I'm going to line that up with this guideline here, and then I'm going to look at where it stops. And then as I can see, it hits right about here. Now this is one and three-fourths of an inch, also known as one and six-eighths. So I'm just going to write that here in the margin, one and six-eighths of an inch. So it's more than one inch, but less than two. Okay. Now let's take a look at the second insect, the boreal firefly. Now the parts of the firefly go beyond these guidelines, the antenna, but we're really just measuring the, the body length, okay? So really from the tip of its head to the bottom of its abdomen. So again, I'm going to line up, not the beginning of my ruler, but the line that begins the first inch because rulers are manufactured uh, to be slightly longer than one foot, okay? And as I can see, it's about one, two, three eighths of an inch. So I'm going to write that off to the side. So it's less than an inch. Okay, so now that I have those measurements, I'm going to write those in uh, into my table right here. So the short tailed dusk darter dragonfly was one and six eighths, and the boreal firefly was just three eighths. Okay, now. You will do that for each and every insect. Now, to save us some time, I went ahead and did the rest of the measurements because we're going to use all this data to create a, a, a line plot graph. Okay, so there's going to be three parts to this graph. We need to come up with a title, we need to come up with a label, and then we have to plot the data. So the title of the graph is just going to tell us what the information is representing and it's about insects, so we can say it's about insect lengths. Now, if this was a different table, it might have insect measurements or the amount an insect would eat or whatever. Uh, and then down here at the bottom where we label, we need to tell uh, the onlooker what this table's information tells us. Okay, and it's telling us length in inches instead of, say, centimeters, okay? So now what we have to do is we need to create a line plot um, that spans the length of the smallest measurement and the longest measurement. So the first thing I want to do is I want to look to see what is the smallest measurement. That boreal firefly was 3 eighths of an inch. So let's see if I can find anything smaller than 3 eighths. I cannot, so I think 3 eighths is a good place to start. So I'll, I'll just put that right here. Line plots and number lines don't always have to start at zero, okay? So I'm going to start with 3 eighths, and then I'm going to count up. 4 eighths, 5 eighths, I'm going to keep going. 6 eighths, 7 eighths. Now when I get to 8 eighths, I'm going to remind myself that if I divide something into eight parts, and I have eight of the parts, that's the same as one whole. Just like the red-legged grasshopper is one inch, that means it's eight-eighths, okay? 
So after one inch, I'm going to put one in one eighth, and one in two eighths, one in three eighths, one in four eighths, one in five eighths, and one in six eighths. And one in six eighths is the uh, longest length of the insects listed here, just like our short tailed dusk darter dragonfly. So, what I'm going to do here is for each measurement, I'm going to put an X over the number on the number line. So, for example, the short tailed dusk darter dragonfly is one and six eighths, so I'm going to put an X right there. The boreal firefly was three eighths of an inch, so I'm going to put an X right there. They're on opposite sides of my line plot graph, okay? So as I go and I check off uh, each measurement, I put an X on that line plot, and after a while, I'm going to start to see some uh, commonalities. Green lacewing, that's 5 eighths of an inch. Okay, so right here, the ladybug, the ladybug pictured right here is the same length as the boreal firefly. It's 3 eighths of an inch. So what I'm going to do here is when I check off that insect measurement, I'm going to put the X in the same spot, but I'm going to stack my X's. So now I know that there are at least two insects that same length. The Carolina mantid is also 1 and 6 eighths of an inch, just like the, the dragonfly here. So again, I'm going to stack that X. And that's how I go about building my line plot graph. You can go ahead and fill in the rest of the measurements, okay? And then that will give you the information that you need, okay? If you have any questions, feel free to ask your uh, math teacher. Otherwise, have a good day. Thanks. Bye-bye.